Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Let me introduce you to Buttercup and Iris, our two little kitties that we brought back from Florida with us. In today's video, I'm gonna take you through while I clean my dirty kitchen. Now at this point, we, had suppo we were supposed to leave for Massachusetts that day. Um, and the night before, everybody was really sick. So I just stopped packing, I stopped cleaning and now I have a big mess to clean up, and at this point, we still don't know if we're just delayed or canceled altogether. And I'm kind of bummed out because we were supposed to be visiting with my mom and doing some fun stuff with her in Boston. Um, we really haven't had time to visit with my mom. I mean, we've seen her, but we haven't, like, visited, visited since before the coronavirus, honestly. Um, so I was really looking forward to doing that. And then there was also a memorial service for my mom's aunt and cousin. Um, and that was supposed to be on Cape Cod. And I was really looking forward to seeing some extended family members that I haven't seen in, gosh, probably 20 years or more. So we still don't know what's going to happen. Hopefully everybody will be feeling better and we'll be able to go. But at this point, I'm not super optimistic that it's going to happen. So here I am just trying to get things cleaned up. The house gets so messy so quickly. It's honestly unbelievable to me how quickly it gets messed up. I do dishes like this giant pile every single day. Um, there's really only three of us living in the house right now, but I, I do feed some adult kids that still come back home some nights, which is great. I love having them and I love feeding them. Um, but I'm not a huge fan of the cleanup afterwards. There's always so much mess to clean up. And I don't know about you guys, but I've always been taught that you can't cook until the kitchen is clean and you can't do dishes until the sink is clean. So I probably, I don't think I've ever seen anyone do dishes the way that I do them, um, other than my kids who learned from me. Growing up, we had a dishwasher and uh, things just got rinsed and put in. Um, I would watch other people do dishes with their their dishwater and it just seemed counterintuitive to me. It seemed like once you put the dishes in to the dishwater, the dishwater was contaminated with dirty water. So for me, I, I do, I guess, a three-part process where I rinse all of the debris off of the plates completely and then I stack them up and then I soap them and then I rinse them off afterwards. Um, I don't think I've ever seen anyone, like I said, do it that way. Um, I worked briefly for some friends in a restaurant that they had. And um, in, in restaurant service, it's different. You have like your wash water and then your clean water. And then they have a um, like a sanitize bucket or sink that it goes into before it dries. Um so that was really the important part, not how the dishes were done. And I know it used to bother them the way that I did dishes because it just doesn't seem clean to me to have a big sink full of dirty water. This little toaster plate, pat platter, I'm not really sure what it is, tray, I guess, has been bothering me for a while. It's just got all kinds of like gross oil stuck to it. So I've just added some baking soda and dish soap and I'm going to scrub it and then... Uh, let it soak for a little bit. Now I'm gonna get these dishes dried and put away. It's one of my pet peeves. I feel like a lot of people do dishes and they leave them to dry and it still looks like a mess in the kitchen to me. I like to have everything put up. So to me, the dishes are not done until they're actually put away in the cabinets. This is a new thing that I've started doing. Um, in the bathroom, I still have a hand towel hanging there, but in addition to the hand towel, I now have this cute little basket that I fill with um, washcloths that we use as hand towels. And here you can see me, I'm just rolling them and putting them into the little gold wire basket. Um, not only do they look really cute, but I feel so much better. Like if I wanna brush my teeth or wash my face or even wash my hands, um, I don't want to grab a wet towel that someone else has used, so this has been a huge game changer in our house. Now I'm just finishing up, getting these counters wiped down. And the front of my um, 
my island gets very, very dirty. And it's actually not an island. It's a husky um, tool chest that I use as, as an island. Um, so it has like chrome drawers on the front of it and they just, they get very, very dirty very quickly. So I'm constantly having to wipe those down. Um, giving the chairs a bit of a wipe down and on the fourth chair you'll see that I can't move the chair because Buttercup is having a nap and everybody knows you don't disturb a sleeping cat. <laughs> now I'm going to take a quick little water break with my new Yeti cup that I absolutely adore. Several of my adult kids have bought these for themselves and their spouses and they rave about them and have been telling me for a long time that I need to get one and I'm just not one that can spend that amount of money for a water cup. Um, however, I have completely reversed my position on this since my daughter bought me one for Mother's Day. I love it and I absolutely see the value in it. So finally, the microwave is clean. That thing hasn't been clean like that in weeks and the kitchen is done. Thank you so much for watching the video and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.